All right, so I'm back doing uh, doing a video solo, flying solo this time, and I don't have my buddy with me to show off his Golden Age or his Fantastic Silver Age or his Fantastic Bronze, but I do have a couple of good books that I wanted to show you guys today. So uh, let's get right to it. I picked up X-Factor number six, First Apocalypse. Picked it up at a show this weekend with a couple of other books at the Village Gate here in Rochester. Um, to me, I'm saying it's a 859, so it's a great book, great cover, and he's coming into his own. He will be in the new movies, so then I had picked up an X Factor 24, first Archangel, hard to say. Um, near Mint, I love these Mylar bags too, it really makes things shine inside them, but it does reflect a lot when you're trying to do a video, so I got that going for me. But yeah, nice book. Here's another book that I've had more than my fair share of times, but I love it nonetheless. Star Wars 1, the 30 cent variant, not the 35 cent variant, which is worth $10,000, whatever the hell it's worth. But I, I had a 9.4 in this book with white pages, and I think this is definitely comparable. I mean, the corners are sharp. If you threw them at someone, they could probably kill them. And it does have white pages, so it is a beautiful book. How do you not like Star Wars 1? In fact, I just finished watching Rogue One, and the movie's fantastic second time I've seen it. And I love the cameo at the end. I absolutely love it. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> Star Wars 1. Doctor Strange, 169. Feels a little flimsy. I think I can add a couple of boards to it. But uh, everyone knows this starts off Doctor Strange. They started at the 169, and then they go from there. They didn't have a Doctor Strange 1. But, uh... You know, it'd be nice to have his first appearance, but this cover is fantastic. I mean, the black and white image behind him is just, it, it, that book just pops. That cover is sick. And I love that there's no UPCs or anything ugly on the front of these books that take away from them. You know, I mean, even when you go back to the Star Wars, you're looking at a UPC right there on the front. Doctor Strange, nothing. And it's beautiful, so they could use the whole cover and not have to worry about anything. Very sexy book. See my Joker back there in the background? It's a great picture. Um, another good book, Miss Marvel 18. Everyone knows. It's the first appearance of Mystique. There's a cameo of her. I think it's a three, three panels that, ha that she's in it, but it's definitely her first appearance. It is a great looking book. Again, I had this one in a 9-2 white pages and sold it. This one's probably a 9-0. But it does have white pages. I love getting books with white pages because when they age, they tend to, you know, go dull. And I don't like dull. I'm a big fan of shiny and white. So I got that. Another book that I keep getting, it keeps coming around to me. And I've probably bought six. And I only have one at the current moment. I did have this in a 9.4 also. And it had white pages. And I saw, oh, you know what? That was CBCS. It was off white pages. So I didn't have it in, in white pages. But I did purchase this one at a local shop. Everyone knows the first appearance of Venom. And I do have a giant Venom tattoo in the back of my head that hurt like a son of a bitch. Not the back of my head, the back of my neck. And it hurt, would hurt something fierce. Anybody who's got a tattoo back there can definitely attest. I think I was actually, they told me I was in shock when I left the chair. It was two hours of misery. But anyway, <laughs> on to something better. Amazing Spider-Man 300. I'd love to get this book signed by Todd McFarlane and Stan Lee before he before he drops and then get it graded that would be fantastic anybody knows how i can get that done please leave a comment below here's a book that i've never had it does need a couple more backers also i love to use the golden age mylar bags along with the golden age backers the book just fits so much better in there and when you put you can put five backer boards in there and the book still it holds it almost presses it for you Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, first dark side, He's soon to be a major character in the DC Universe. Hopefully he appears in Justice League, that would be fantastic, that would drive this book up, up, up. But you know, this book is probably a 5, 5-0, five oh, I don't know, 5-5 five, five maybe. But you can't find these books in higher grade. For me, I'm looking on eBay and these old 15 centers... You can't find them without that aren't destroyed. And they want 100, 200 bucks for them. Believe me, I paid way less than that for this book. So I was glad to have it. I love the 15 center DCs, not as much as the 10 center DCs, but I do love these books. 
Here's another book that's heating up and I don't know why, but I do love it nonetheless. She-Hulk, 9.2 white pages. Yes, I said it, white pages. Very sexy book. I just had one. So I bought this from a comic book shop down the street from me. I paid 45 bucks for it, graded, which I thought was a very fair price. Two weeks ago, I purchased the same book from him, ungraded for $10. I went to the comic book show this weekend. They're asking $90, $100, $110 for ungraded this book. So I figured to get a 9.2 for 45 bucks with white already graded was very promising. So I jumped on it. Another book that I love because of the cover and because I loved the Ant-Man movie, Marvel Premiere 47. First Scott Lang as Ant-Man. I know it's not the first Scott Lang. Please don't comment and tell me that it's not. I know. But it is the first Scott Lang as Ant-Man. And it is a 9.6. I had one a 9.4 that I sold recently. This one is a 9.6 with white pages. So I upgraded. Next one will be a 9.8. If we had this like a, not a 9.7, it'd be fantastic. Then I can go up baby steps, but I don't see that happening. All right, so here's my last book. And I know you guys have seen a lot of it, but just bear with me while I, while I talk about it. If you look on the CGC census, there's quite a few of these out there. It is a New Mutants 98, 9.8 white pages, CBCS. Great book. I saw it at the local comic book shop. Actually, the same guy who I purchased that She-Hulk from. And it was on his shelf, and I said, how much do you want for that? And I said, will you take $200 cheaper? And he said, yes. So I ended up paying $500 for this book, which if my girlfriend sees this video, she's probably going to stomp on my head. But it was a 9.8, and I recently saw one sold yesterday, actually. I don't know what today's date is going to have a clock on me. But um, one sold for $6.40, while another one sold for $8.10, 9.8 white pages. So I got home, and I noticed on the back... There's a little QR code, they call them. So if you scan it, it takes you right to the CBCS website. And it tells you what the issues are with the book. It says slight indentations along the spine that do not break color. But then it also said Mark Jeweler's variant, which I was like, what? And this, there it is right there, Mark Jeweler's variant. And I should have noticed something was off because of the UPC, and it wasn't. Uh, it's a newsstand issue. So I googled Mark Jeweler's variant 9.8, and I cannot find a single one that has sold, or in any comic database that has sold the Mark Jeweler's variant. In case you guys don't know, and you probably do because you're watching a comic book video, the Mark Jeweler's variant is a book that was distributed overseas or nationally to um, military bases. So. I find that extremely cool that this book was possibly in the hands of somebody in the military. It's newsstand, and it's got an insert in it that you cannot get here in the United States. As far as I know, the Mark Jewelers variants weren't available at, you know, if you go like to a Wegmans or a Topps, you're not going to find a Mark Jewelers variant. You may have found the one with the UPC on it, but not with the Mark Jewelers variant. So I couldn't find any pass to sales. Okay, in, uh, in fact, there's one on eBay right now that's a 7.5, and it's a Mark Jewelers variant, and it's signed, and he's asking a, a pretty good amount of money for it. So I did message him, and I told him I have a 9.8, and he says that is rare as F explanation point at sign K. So I was pretty excited, and now I'm even more excited about this book than I was when I first purchased it. So anyway, that's my 9.8 White Pages Mark Jewelers variant New Mutants 98, which I was very excited about. So yeah, um, that's all I got for you today. And uh, when I can get together with my buddy, we'll do some more comics for you. All right, have a good rest of the day. See ya.